In order to restore and clean the soundboard, all reinforcements, the ribs, have to be removed. This is done by soaking the bone glue with which the ribs are glued on in water. Bone glue was always being used in the past, a fantastic glue, but after years and years of neglect being stored in cellars and attics and uh, barns and everything, uh, the, the, the gluing joints got, got very bad. And so we have to do them again. It's very important. You can see that the top side of the soundboard is very dirty. Edwin hopes that the water will also dissolve the dirt. The soundboard has been in water for a couple of days to dissolve the old glue joints. Then hopefully everything will come up beautifully clean. Well, unfortunately not so clean. Apparently the dirt still hasn't been dissolved. Johan comments that it has become a lot lighter than when the piano arrived. Then it was about black. Edwin has already done a little test using soda, but that didn't work at all. Nor does alcohol. But they will continue investigating. Actually, the dirt on the soundboard turns out to be a serious problem. Even attempts with brushing, the black doesn't come off. It is also not clear why it has become this black. It's no wood stain. Is it possible that root has fallen in at one stage? Or did the black of the bridge rub off? However, a positive development is that the removed and dried ribs of the soundboard are a little concave now. That's exactly what is needed. Here you can see the black stains that soaked through the top of the soundboard to the underside. These are all the ribs that were glued on the underside of the soundboard. This slat is situated a bit diagonally underneath the soundboard and all the ribs are attached to it. That is how they will be, clean and all, put back into place later. <laughs>